Alright, so this is going to be a pretty quick uh, tutorial. Uh, tutorial. I had a lot of trouble getting the transparency and also like getting up like a green screen working inside of UC face. So this is how you like, do it. Originally, I tried to do something um called using uh, fix settings. And what I used to do is to set up grain and enable that. And what I used to do, yeah, it's it's very stupid now. I realized. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used to do this or oh, some or oh, something like this with this. Everything is. Just, Green on the background. Um, just turn out intensity a little bit, um, like maybe like this or uh, something like this. And I will try to uh, film this inside of a Camtasia, whatever program capture the window. And I try to use um like a visual effects called remove of color. That's how you use the green screen. And what I used to do is just drag that over here and try to like take away um this color for me. And that. Not too fine, I suppose, but something you realize is that it lags a lot, and when it's capturing all this information, the grains and stuff that it moves around, um, it creates quite a large file. So, this is the file for five minutes or so, and it is, if I remember correctly, uh, right over here, yes, almost seven gigabytes of data for just five minutes of video. And it lags a lot, it is the jittering and stuff like that, it pauses because it's so much information with all the grains and stuff like that. You probably even notice um while doing that you'll see my face something like freeze or whatever it doesn't the screen capture and catch it properly. So yeah instead of doing all of that I recommend just turning off uh, a lot of effect settings, see how it goes and when you just hit the X button you usually just have a transparency layer in the background and what you what we usually want to do is just go to OBS. I believe our stream lab also works pretty well with this, but you just want to say to also record the uh, alpha information. So this is me uh, inside OBS, and you can just see I just start off a new screen actually, a new scene just to clear everything out, and I'll just start um, a video capture, a game capture I suppose, a game capture, and say OK, and it's say any full screen application, let's just say a specific window, and for that I want to make that VC face. So you can see a lot of the stuff really coming through. It would it's showing things exactly like how it is. So like you can see the dots and also the checker background, everything like that. And what you want to do is to keep it as match title, otherwise fine window with the same execution. And to say allow transparency. And what happens after that is that uh you see all the uh checker boxes are gone that that means the transparency is actually working. So simply hit OK and what you, have, what you see in OBS is a screen capture that looks something like this. So, what's the big deal with the thing being black? Clean up black. That just means this, uh, everything is transparent and there's nothing in the background. So, you can see if I just check out, or we'll just disable this button on here, you can see that it's also gone as well. So, if you want to add a green screen or something like that, just simply go add and say, uh, let's say, image source. Image source and, and, and what I usually do is just find an image on my uh, screen or something like that, like a green image and say OK. Drag it over and just put the image underneath the game capture in the game. Uh, green screen. So that's how I do it now and just simply drag the information, the recording inside Camtasia or whatever software I'm using and just simply, uh, and just simply go ahead and drag the uh, remove a color. Uh, functionality and that's a remove the green and that will give a pretty nice transparency detail uh, inside the actual um, editing software you want to be using 